Welcome to the Tin Dog Podcast. This week we're going to be talking mainly, in fact almost exclusively, about Torchwood Episode 2.5, Adam. What can I say about this particular story? It feels, to me, very much like one of those old Stargate episodes, or even a Buffy, or or perhaps even a Trek. It's covering ground definitely touched on by other science fiction stories. Now, Doctor Who itself has, let's say, a tradition of reimagining other people's work. So I really have no issues with that. Again, it's an extremely good example of how Torchwood Series 2 is so much better than Torchwood Series 1. We've got extremely good performances from everyone. Adam's very good. At the beginning it doesn't exactly look like he would fit in. Toshiko, the altered Toshiko, very nice performance. We end up with something that would, given a different show, challenge us. But I suppose we're now expecting something better. Torchwood has upped its game. And we're now expecting something so much, well, better. This is a good thing. Torchwood has improved. We are watching it now and we're not going, ooh, will it be bad? And I'm as surprised as anyone else. Now, the BBC are showing episode, the following episode, directly after, on BBC Three. I have issues with BBC Three, mainly because not everyone in England has access to it. Now I know many of you are receiving the Torchwood fix via some sort of green demon transfer, but as Torchwood is broadcast on BBC Two, if it's alright with you, I'd like to review one episode of Torchwood per week, rather than getting ahead of myself, that's alright. However, my main issue with BBC Three is one of a logo. I'm not fond of logos in the corners of screens. You see, I've got a remote control. I tell the TV, the receiver, what channel I want to watch. Because I'm alive, I've got fingers, I can press the button, I've made the decision myself over what to watch. I don't need to be reminded all the way through the show what channel I'm actually watching. You see what I mean? All you have to do is go, I've put BBC Three on, I'm watching a program on BBC Three. Please don't remind me that I'm watching BBC Three. The same goes for Sky One, or everything. Everything that comes from digital. I want to watch the channel that I'm watching without being told what I'm watching, because I already know. That's what the search and scan buttons are for. That's what channel idents are for. And so I will record something from BBC Three, watch it. God, if it's on another channel without screen litter, I'd rather get it from there. And the new BBC Three logo, bright pink, mmm, lovely. So, in order to get this review correct, I thought I'd watch Adam, see, I thought it was good. Some of the stuff about Jack's former life was quite well executed. I'm not completely sold on the performance of Jack Jr, but That's fine. We didn't get to find out Jack's real name, but that's not really an issue. It's probably something along the lines of Ford Prefect, where he went back in time and had his name changed to Jack Harkness from that point onwards. It was nice to see the short cutaway of the Dalek guns from America. Now, were they A, rescued by Torchwood or Unit or whoever is out there, uh, and then given to Torchwood? Um, Or B, the special effects bloke went, have you got any guns? Yeah, I've got some over here. What are these? Oh, they're the old Dalek ones. They'll do. The choice is yours. You can make up your own mind. As I said, the memory monsters have been done before, but we have no issue with them being done again. And this was a decent enough story. So well done on this story. Let's hope things get even better. I do have a small question. If the memory monster only exists because he's in people's memories, how does Reese see him And why does nobody react to, who's this? It's a small thing, but I'm not completely sold. This week's episode of the Tin Dog Podcast is dedicated to Ron Bogner, who is the first person to donate some money to the running of the show. Thank you so much, it really means a lot. Now, I know I'm cursed with a sarcastic tone of voice, but when I say thank you, I genuinely mean it. So thanks, Ron. As many of you are aware, This month, well, the end of this month and the beginning of next, marks the one-year anniversary of the Tin Dog podcast. And so, to celebrate, I'm putting together a nice special. It's not a clips show, 
God knows we all hate those. It's not a review of the things I've done in the last year, because to be fair, you've probably been listening to those anyway, and you don't really need to hear them again. It's a little thing I'm putting together that I'm sure you'll like. A missing Torchwood story. On the subject of audio Torchwood stories, there was something I did want to review, which was the new Torchwood audio Hidden, written by Steve Savile. Unfortunately, years ago, or rather fortunately for me, I used to write with Steve, and I do class him as a friend. So if I was to review Hidden, I'd be able, I'd say nice things, but you'd possibly be under the misapprehension that I was saying nice things because I knew him. Well, I want to say nice things because I've heard it, and it is extremely well written. It captures the atmosphere, the the characterization, the story's extremely good. It's been specially commissioned just for audio, so it doesn't actually exist as a novel anywhere else. But would you believe me? The I'm telling you the truth, I wouldn't lie to you. For a start, I don't know you, and it's very difficult to lie to strangers. So if I was you, I'd track it down. I believe it's reduced on play.com. Have a listen and make up your own mind. I for one enjoyed it enormously. I'm not biased, and even if I was biased, I'd still enjoyed it. There'll also be a Tin Dog podcast coming very shortly about the Five Doctors Special Edition and Normal Edition DVD release. I'm very excited about that. So until then, until next time when I'll be reviewing Reset, Martha's Return, be seeing you. You have been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Doctor Who and its associated shows are all trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Contact us at tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk.